Hey y'all, Brittany Lane here again. Thank you guys for tuning in to my segments. This is, I guess, part four of um, the segments that I've just done for my everyday fall look. And I get a lot of questions on my hair. And obviously I haven't done it today because it looks crazy. Um, I took a shower last night. I let it air dry for a while and then I kind of just blow dried it a little bit. But my hair's naturally like straight, but also not. It's like got these weird creases and stuff in it. But this is my natural hair. I do not have extensions in. Um, I have worn extensions before. I'm not like a huge fan of them just because I wear my hair up so often. Um, most of the time I have it either half up or up. So um, yeah, this is all my hair. I showered last night, let it air dry for a little bit. And um, I let it air dry more times than not nowadays just because I'm trying to get it healthier. So I do frequent trims. I also try to not color it as often and I try not to use hot tools on it too much but um, today I'm actually going to show you my beach wave which is a really good um, way to wear your hair if you're planning on like not washing it for a couple of days because you can kind of just spray it two three days in and it still looks really good and beachy and natural so um, this is my newest product that I love it's called the beach waver s1 okay it's set on 350 degrees um, and let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I do this. It's super simple, doesn't take long at all. So when you start with each, or we start with the front part of your hair, you wanna curl away from your face. So you're gonna take that first little section, do it away from your face. Maybe leave it for like four seconds. Um, and you wanna do, I always do um, vertical pieces. So I try to like piece my hair upwards and just take little segments. For the first, like, I'd say like five pieces, I go away from my hair, I mean away from my face, like I curl away from it, and then I will alternate throughout. Keep going away. And I think a lot of mistakes that people make with this is they say, you know, my hair doesn't hold curl, um, which could be the case for some people, but I found that if you just let the curls cool, like curl them and then leave them. So right now they look kind of funky, but I let them cool in that position and they tend to stay longer. So at the end of it, you can run your fingers through your hair, but not initially. I know it's tempting because you look a little crazy, but just try not to. Um, so I alternate my shampoos and conditioners pretty often. I really love Oribe, Oribe, I think that's how you say it. Um, I love their hair products. I use a purple shampoo by Unite um, weekly because my blonde hair, I don't want it to turn yellow. So I try to keep it as like icy looking as possible. So I'll use a purple shampoo about once a week. Um, I use a lot of Unite products. I use Oribe, Oribe. Um, and that product smells so good. I'm about to use a hairspray in a little bit and I'll tag it on this post, but it is the best smelling hairline that I've ever smelled. I will use um, Big Sexy Hair's Root Pump, I think it's called, to sometimes to um, give my roots a little bit of a boost to make it a little more full of volume. I really love this waiver. I'll um, tag this beach waiver below too so you guys can a link to um, post it and make it easy for you. And obviously the smaller the section, um, the faster your hair is going to curl and the longer you leave it, the more kinky the curl will be. I like them to look a little bit more beachy and um, not so ringlet -y. So I don't leave them as long as you can. Plus I don't like all that heat on there for a really long time. I'm 
Okay, so now I'm curling away from my face. I'm just starting at this area of my head and curling away. And you just literally wrap away. Um, and I don't like to hold these front pieces as long because I just haven't forbid they become damaged or something. I don't know. Okay, and now that all this is cold. You can go back through, and if you've missed any pieces, just grab them and curl away. And then if you want to add a few more in, you can always go back through and add more. And you can separate some of the pieces so they don't look as curly more wavy. And I like it to look a little effortless, so it's totally up to you. Do you want it to look a little more effortless or a little more done? And I'll spray. This is the stuff that smells amazing. It's called Oribe um, Super Fine Strong Hairspray. And I love it. It's not like, it doesn't make your hair feel all crispy and weird. It still gives it a bunch of volume with like it, allowing it to feel natural as well. Spray these front pieces. You can flip it over. Go crazy with it. Make it full of volume and also sometimes if I'm going to an event or something and want it to look really big I can just take a little teaser brush this is probably from like CVS or something and just go through and just tease little sections to give it a little bit more volume and just tease it a little bit with this little cone a few places and a few places is primarily in the front and you can also tease up here too but I just want it to look a little more natural today so there you go 10 minutes maybe hope you enjoyed thank you for watching